Worst offenders are pursued by the detectives of the Specialized Criminal Investigations Unit. These are their stories. The press is going to be all over. This. Oh, it is a big day, one we have been waiting for. Rogers and City TV have brought the iconic Law and Order franchise to Canada, and we're so excited for Law and Order Toronto Criminal Intent to kick off tonight and to help us celebrate. We're joined in studio by everyone you see on stage right there, the all-star Canadian stellar cast, Aiden Young, Karen Robinson, Kathleen Monroe, and Casey Let's go. Collins. Let's go. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Let's go. I, I gotta say, as someone who grew up with this show, like so many people in this room, yes, and and people watching at home, we, we were lucky enough, like Devo, we saw the first episode that's airing tonight here on City TV, eight o'clock. It 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 fits like a glove. Oh it my feels gosh. like you have been working yeah, together for it's multiple so seasons. And oh congratulations to all of you. It's, oh, it's, thank it's, you. Yeah. I, I, Great chemistry. It, it just it fit. It fit the series. It's it's like I've been watching it for years. This version. Hey, I want to start with you. Oh, God. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing but happy softballs today. <laughs> nothing but happy yeah. softballs today. Softballs for the show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no interrogations today. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, what does this mean? Again, I, I can't stress enough how cool it is, the all-Canadian element to what we are doing here in the city of Toronto with an iconic franchise. What does it mean to you? Well, I got the phone call on the other side of the world, right? You, you know, you could put a chopstick through the world, and it would land right here. I was in Sydney, Australia, and I, I, I'd come home to make this, a show like this, you know, from a, a legacy franchise like Law and & Order, and to bring a fresh approach to it, and then I'm joined by these people. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it was magnificent. It was such an honor. It was a, a no-brainer, you know. Well, and it's such a focus on this city of Toronto. Yeah. And, you know, in other franchises that we've seen, uh, obviously that's that's not the case. And even other shows that are here shot in Toronto kind of masquerading as big American cities. But mm -hmm. Toronto's really getting their flowers right now. Mm. What was yes, that like is. for you, Karen? Um, I have been in some of those shows yes, where, you, you know, have. Toronto, where Toronto has subbed in. And we, and we do it quite well. We do other cities quite well. But it was time to bring it home. I remember when I didn't even know that I was I was going to be on the show yet. That didn't even occur to me. I remember when it was announced in the news that Toronto was getting its own law and order. And I was like, that is the bossest, baddest move. What? <laughs> Toronto is ready because we have the talent here. Yes. Technical talent. We have the artistic talent. We have the writers, producers, producers directors. Yes, yeah. absolutely, 100% yes. There is an energy with this idea, wasn't it? Right from the get-go. Yeah. I mean, Kathleen, this is this is not your first Law & Order rodeo, so to speak. Yeah, She's no. the veteran, yeah. You, you've appeared in both Law & Order Special Victims Unit as a suspect mm -hmm. and Law & Order Organized Crime as a district attorney. You're a detective here. What is the better Law & Order role, in your opinion, having now played three? Well, it, I mean, it's got to be this one. Like, I, that's why I get to stick around. I get to be here. I want the job where I get to be here mm -hmm. and to be with the, you know with these people and to to be able to kind of start at the beginning of a show and and uh, and, and and be a part of the the early phase of it and then then you know be a mainstay in it like this is a dream come true because I've been you know like you have a, a lifelong fan of of the franchise so to, to to be able to do it and to be able to play a, a detective on Law and Order feels like um, yeah, it, it, it's there, there's the iconography, the language of it is something I've been so familiar with for so long that it's a yeah, it's a joy. I get to be with all these people. Yeah. Yeah. You know? well, at I home, mean, it's it's like I, I'm, I'm pinching myself all the time. We're seeing the chemistry play out here on the couch, even so far. It really is palpable and uh, speaks to you know all of you as as talents, but also really as colleagues. Uh, you're playing good guys, I think. We'll You're see. on the good side of things. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but if for ever, uh, you know, any reason KC ended up maybe on the wrong side of things, mm. who, who would you call out of your, your castmates to kind of get you out of trouble? Well, I, I, first of all, I want to say when she played a suspect, she was guilty. 
Um, <laughs> oh, so, okay, okay. Um, Call it out. Yeah, I don't. Justified, uh, I would say. Justified, justified. justified. Okay. <laughs> Um, I would probably. <laughs> Karen I'm, is I'm, looking at me. Very strong. Everyone right wants now. to be the pick. She's so yeah. strong. Um, we, got yeah. up and we got <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you for the trap, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Um, but yeah. you know what? Really I think I would go. I think I would go with. Um, a care cat. I would go with all. I would go with a combination. A combination. A Canadian answer. Yeah, yeah. We will talk. We will talk. One. My producer's gonna kill me because we don't have a ton of time with you, but we this is a rare opportunity. What is it about this show? What is it about this premise? What is it about this template that has stood the test of time? Okay, see, look, we'll go down the line. We'll start with you. Yeah, you know what I think it's uh, what I love about the show is is sort of the 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 grounded, the 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 real natural um the the acting ability that everyone brings and it, it's not no one is there's no pushing you know and everything just feels like there has such a beautiful flow to it and of course i don't understand how these elements were picked out the the you know the theme song and and all these things that just work and it's like i don't know it's magic it's just magic i have no idea how it works but it just grips us and the stories are amazing for sure. Kathleen? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's just really dynamic storytelling, and there is there's something of a, a formula that works, but then within that formula, there are twists and there are turns, and so, and you know, when we get to, to continue this franchise, like the longest-running dramatic franchise in TV history, we get to continue it and bring something that is fresh and new, and I think the ability of the Law & Order sort of um, realm to stay consistent but then also add new dynamics, I think, is, is what really keeps it fresh and keeps it relevant. I think people fall in love with the characters. Mm -hmm. I think everybody can tell you who their favorite character from mm -hmm. any of the any of the um, iterations. People can always tell you it's it's the characters. Yeah, I also think, you know, primarily it's the stakes. You know, every episode begins with a body. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Mm -hmm. And we got to find somebody. We got to make the the invisible visible. And people are riveted, and they've been riveted for decades. And it's, you know, the, the, the weight falls heavy on us all to make sure that we can bring that, you know, um, passion and drive to make sure that the investigation is, is, is as thorough as possible and distill all that down into 53 minutes and, and find the killer, you know. Yeah. I think that's the... That's the magic key. Well, based on episode one. I was going to say, you mm. found that. You, you yeah. carry that weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. In spades. Um, all right. We're, we're not going to we're not gonna cut you loose yet. Hold uh, on a okay. second. Mm -hmm. A reminder, right the there. Law and Order kicks off at 7 p.m. tonight with Sam Waterston's final episode after oh, more wow. than 30 years. Can we get some applause for wow. Sam wow. and the job he's done on this franchise? 400 episodes on Law & Order oh for Sam Watterson. That will be followed wow. by the premiere of Law & Order Toronto Criminal Intent, 8 p.m. Eastern City TV. Stick around after the break.